Hey, good morning. This is my Acts sketchbook illustrated by Jill Mockingbird and as Bible verses with a little drawing. And I did Acts, one of my first books to illustrate and draw. I did it really quickly, but I hope it blesses you and explains things. So yesterday we talked about how they chose Joseph and Matthias to cast lots, and the lot fell to Matthias. So he was the new disciple to replace... Judas, the be Judas the betrayer. Acts 2, when the day of Pentecost came, the believers were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like a rushing wind came and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw tongues like flames of a fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. And they, all, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them. So the Galileans were all sitting in one room and all of a sudden the wind came and they started speaking in different tongues. I don't have little flames of fire. I need to have little flames of fire on them. Different tongues, Parthian, Midian, Mesopotamian, Judean, Cappadocian. Acts 2.5. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. So they're all in one place and they're all hearing different languages, their own language being spoken. Utterly, I haven't spoken in tongues, but ask your pastor, maybe maybe you have that gift. And an interpret, interpreter is important too. I should give you that verse tomorrow. Utterly amazed, they asked, aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it each of us has, hears them in our own language? We speak my language. What does that mean? What does this mean? Confusion. Acts 2.13. Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. They're drunk. They've had too much to drink. And Peter stood up with the eleven raised his voice and addressed the crowd. So for some reason, I didn't draw arms at this point. The beginning of the quarantine, I believe, 2020, I didn't do arms. I've evolved to draw, drawing arms and noses too. <laughs> Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. The prophet Joel, years before, said, I spoke about this well, in the Old Testament. Acts 2.11. This is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and da your daughters shall prophesy your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. So your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and give good words, words from the Lord. Your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. So old man here dreaming dreams. He's got a walker there to help him walk. And on my maid servants, men servants, and on my maid servants, I will pour out. My spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy. So I'm going to pour out my spirit. They shall prophesy, give a good word from the Lord. Men servants and maid servants. Acts 2.19, I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. So wonders and signs will be in heaven above. Blood, fire, vapor of smoke will be in the earth. The darks, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon will turn into blood. So color that red. Before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And I should draw the lines out. Day of the Lord. Woohoo. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whoever calls on Jesus will be saved. So if you're not saved, call on Jesus. You will be saved. Jesus, help me. I believe in you. Come into my heart. 
Acts 2.24, it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. Death could not keep a hold of Jesus. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Acts 2.25, the Lord is at my right hand, I won't be shaken. Moving st strongly, steadily. Jesus is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Jesus is at your right hand, you will not be shaken. Amen.